Okay, so you've got to send out an email to a group of friends and the list of people who want to hear from you is starting to grow. Maybe it's about an event, a reunion of an old sports team or something like that. And all of the people have given you permission to write to them. So you're storing their email addresses in a spreadsheet, in a Google Sheet. But then how do you send an email to all of the people in that, in that sheet without doing a copy and paste? Well, you use a thing called Mail Merge. I'm going to show you how to use Mail Merge using Gmail and we're going to use Google Sheets as the spreadsheet to store the email addresses. And there's a link in the description to this video showing you step by step how to do this. Okay, so here's the document that we're going to use here. Now, don't worry if you haven't done any coding before, this is very much a beginner level. And so the way that it works is we've got a Gmail draft template. So we write a, an email with placeholders. And what that means is that we're going to say, okay, we're going to say dear first name, and then it's going to pull the first name out of the Google Sheet. Okay, so we're going to use Gmail, and the spreadsheet we're going to use here is Google Sheets. Okay, so there's a sample spreadsheet and we're just going to replace the sample email addresses with the email addresses that you actually want to send. So we're going to click on make a copy. And now, after that happens, so that's going to use whatever your Gmail account is that you're logged in as. And what I would do is rename this straight away. So we're going to do a reunion and we're going to send it off to these people here. Now I'm going to, we're not going to use these discount codes and discount amounts, but here we're just going to keep a track of has the email been sent. Obviously we're going to be taking out the email addresses that we don't need and then adding the email addresses that we do need. So that was step one is to create the mail merge just to make a copy. And you update the step two is update the recipients column with the email addresses that you actually want to use. Okay. Now, if you want to add or edit columns to customize the data, then you can do that as well. So you might like to, we might want to get rid of this one. I'll just highlight that and delete it. And I'm going to, I don't care about the discount amount. Okay. I'm going to insert now a column to say uh, what year of the, the reunion class they were in okay and you might put other details in there as well such as uh, their phone number okay so we're going to send an email to the people in this list but what I would recommend you do is just send it to yourself first of all so I'm going to create a draft email I'm going to leave the two blank so I'm going to say what the event is and this subject line is going to be really important because we're going to need that for sending the email. Now instead of saying hi everyone, I actually want to insert the first name here in the email. And the way to do that is to use the double curly brackets and then the name of this column, first name. So hi. Okay. I could include an attachment, images, all of the usual things that you can do in your draft email. And then I'm not going to hit send here. I don't have any recipients here. So what I want to do is actually send it here using the mail merge. So I just click on here, mail merge, send emails. And then I've got to copy and paste the subject line of the email, which is going to be party this Saturday, this one. So pop that in there. And as soon as I click OK, the email will send. And so that's why I want to do it as a draft first, just for myself before I send it out to everybody. Just to see, make sure that the format is all OK. I don't have any mistakes, any important uh, things that I have missed from the email. So you can see it says running script and then it inserts the the date that the email was sent and that's been sent that's gone now if you want to send to the other people in the list then go ahead and put in their email addresses 
Now what I can do is do the mail merge again and it will send it only to the people who it hasn't already sent it to. Okay? And if you want to clear it, then it will send it to those ones again. Then I click mail merge and it'll send those emails. Once again, we're going to copy and paste the subject heading. And as you can see, it will insert the date and time. Actually, for this one, uh, it will insert them once those emails have sent. So if we want to send it to a new group of people, then we just add their email addresses here. And that way we've got our master spreadsheet here and we know when the emails were sent to each of them. Now, if you found this helpful, then please give this video a like and you will find a link to how to create this mail merge. You'll find the link in the description to this video.